A former LEX 18 reporter knows exactly what the people in Graves County are going through. She has family there, and as LEX 18's Michael Burke shows us, she lived through a similar experience herself several years ago. Sadly, Cincinnati resident Heather Higdon is uniquely tied to the weekend's catastrophic tornadoes in western Kentucky. When you look at, at the enormity of that tornado and the path that it had, it's, it's, I, I just feel like so blessed that all of my friends and family are, are alive. Her parents, a sibling, and other relatives were spared, but still, a part of her died over the weekend. When you're from um, a small town in rural western Kentucky, you feel a connection to literally every neighbor that you have. And on the Sunday New York Times that arrives at her home each week, a painful front page reminder of what happened 36 hours earlier. And Mayfield, Kentucky was the cover story. Ne never, never thought I'd see anything like that. But Higdon probably should have known better than anyone that anything like that was possible. She and her husband, Chris, both former LEX 18 employees are lucky to be alive today. Their home was leveled by the 2004 Masterson Station tornado. They were called in to add to our coverage when it happened. I've never been more thankful that Mike Taylor called me into work to cover that storm. I, I mean, it was such a blessing that he and I were not at the house. Um, and Masterson Station was just completely ripped up. Now a town in her native Graves County is too. Sadly, it leaves Heather uniquely tied to two of the state's largest natural disasters. Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.